Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm talking about how to overcome limiting beliefs. For some reason, there is something in the back of our heads that just keep us away from what we truly want out of life. If you are tired of that, if you are ready to be more, to do more, then keep watching this video. Limiting beliefs are things that we believe to be true that are holding us back from our goals and dreams. These are limits that we put on ourselves. We have the power to control them. We have the power to change them. I don't know if you guys heard this quote before, but it's really popular. It goes something like, he who believes he can't and he who believes he can are both right. It's all in the mindset. If you say, I can do this, you're right, you can do it. If you say you can't do it, you're right, you can't do it because you put that limit on yourself. You've convinced yourself that whatever that limiting belief is, you convince yourself that that is true, that is your reality, and you've accepted it. And once you put something in your mind that you can't do it, then you don't even try. The attempt is not even there to do it. I think limiting beliefs are based on fear and failing what if people talk about me what if i'm not good enough what if this this and that those are fears also failing no one wants to fail no one wants to feel that pain so our limiting beliefs i feel like are mostly rooted in fear and failure you can have limiting beliefs in different areas like what you believe about yourself what you believe about the world and what you believe about life. You can have limiting beliefs when it comes to money, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to education. And these limiting beliefs get in the way of you manifesting. Because if you truly believe in these things, you are unconsciously manifesting them into your life. To overcome your limiting beliefs, first you need to know what those limiting beliefs are. Take a minute to decide what limiting beliefs are holding you back. You can get a piece of paper and just write them down there if you want. The easiest way I think to do this is just think about things that you want out of life or things that sound good and just think about those thoughts that you get after that that make you be like, hmm, nah, that's not possible, that's not real, and reasons will start coming up. Let's say you want to publish a book. That sounds so amazing, but then you think about how you're not a strong writer or you have no idea how to do it and all these other excuses that come up. Let's say you want to travel the world and things that pop up may be, oh, I don't have the time for that. I don't have the money for that. I'm not as adventurous for that. I'm afraid. So just think of some of the things that you want to do or some of the things that sound cool and goals and dreams and then think of all the things that come up that make you second guess yourself. Those would be some of your limiting beliefs. Another way to notice what some of your beliefs are is some of them will start the same. An example would be like, I can't, I don't have, I'm not, what if, I will never. Things like that is usually how limiting beliefs start. So I can't become a millionaire. I don't have enough money. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I'm not good enough. I'm not attractive enough. I'm not intelligent enough. What if I fail? What if it's difficult? What if people laugh? What if I don't make it? What if something terrible happens? I will never be able to do that. Those are just some examples of how you can identify some of the limiting beliefs in your life. Of course, you're not gonna get to all of them, just but just becoming aware of some of them and naming them and listing them and just becoming more aware of them, that is the first step. And sometimes limiting beliefs are rooted from your past rooted from your childhood and your household and those take a little more digging to get to an example could be money if you grew up you didn't have a lot so your mindset your limiting belief is there's not enough money there's never enough you have a scarcity mindset just because that's how you were brought up. That is how everyone around you thought and felt. So now that is a belief in your life. Limiting beliefs come from somewhere. It's from your family, your friends, school, relationships. Something made you believe this to be true. You're not born with this thought 
This thought had to come from experiences. One way to overcome your limiting beliefs is to rewrite them. Change the narrative. You are the author. Let's do an example. If you want to start a business because starting businesses is really popular these days. So let's say you want to start a business, but your limiting belief is I'm not disciplined enough. One way to change the narrative could be I am working on being a more disciplined person. I am a disciplined person. I am capable of being a disciplined person. Like that is totally different from you just saying, I'm not a disciplined person. The limiting belief could be, this is who I am. It is too late to fix it. That's a limiting belief. You can change that to something like, I am open to change. I can change at any time that I want to. I have control to make changes to improve my life. Do you see where I'm going with this? Another way to overcome your limiting beliefs is success stories. Look for people who have success in the areas that you are struggling in. People who have similar stories to you. People who look like you. People who have struggles like you and they overcame it's all i believe i said this in one of my other videos but i'm going to say it again because it is so true all you need is one person and even if there isn't one person but one person that you see doing something that you want to do that's all you need because if they can do it you can do it you know that it is possible and it's something that you can achieve there are people out there who have more than you do who have less than you you do who have more knowledge who have less knowledge and they are doing what you want to do every single day they are living your goals they are living your dreams and they are making it happen so this next thing that can help you overcome your limiting beliefs is something kind of personal to me um, but i think it will help others i if you know me you know i'm a big reader and I don't know what book this was from, but it really helped. So basically you will be writing a list of all of your small and big accomplishments, things that you are just so proud of yourself for that give, get you excited or something you would tell a friend. These are things from your life. Like you can put things from five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, tomorrow, make a list, number it, and just keep adding to it. So I'm going to share this with you all. This has actually helped. So this is um, one of my lists. I finished this. This is another one I'm working on. I'm on the back page of this. Where am I at? I'm on number 98 um, of like accomplishments, big and small, that I'm really proud of throughout my life. So just have a brainstorming session of all of the things you accomplished in life that you are so proud of. At first I was just doing like really big ones and then I'm just like, I could do small too. So small, medium, big, whatever you are proud of yourself for, write it down. Some of the things that I wrote down had to do with like credit, passing math, um, because math is difficult for me. I made a new recipe, um, asked for a guy's number. That was so funny, y'all. That would be a story time for real. Uh, I put 10 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I was proud of that and I wrote that down. So just little and small things that you are really proud of, just make a list, number a page and just write it down. And I think this helps with your limiting beliefs because you just look at this list like, look up, Look at all these things I accomplished. Look at all of these things I did. All of these things, big and small, that I'm so proud of myself for. And you know, if I can do this, I can do anything. If I can get out of my comfort zone, if I can achieve these things that were difficult for me, if I can do this, I can, I can do anything. So just making that list definitely helps when it comes to your limiting beliefs when you try and hold yourself back. One thing I read about to help overcome your limiting beliefs is to start questioning them. You say you can't do this because of this. What if you're wrong? What if you would have been amazing at that? What if you would have excelled? What if you would have ended up a whole success and inspired many people and you wouldn't know what if you've done yourself a disservice and also a disservice to the world you could have shared your voice your passion your gift with other people what if that is really your reality and not the reality that you put on yourself with the limiting belief 
Rewrite your limiting beliefs and after you rewrite them, say them out loud. Put it out into the world and the universe and declare it to be true. Limiting beliefs can stop you from trying new things and also from experiencing life. It holds us back from not only what we want, but also the person that we want to be. It is not serving us. It is going against what self-love is. Well, that's the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video and you found value in it, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.